And in lane one, we have Nicole Downing, sophomore from Tippet Canoe. Lane two, Willow Stanford Kalski, Fenwick. Lane three, Cecilia Cesar, Marymont. Lane four, Sarah Forbes, Marymont. Lane five, Avery Faulkner, Bellbrook. Lane six, Abby Kern, Oakwood. Lane seven, Allison Kobe Ross. And in lane eight, Grace Bowl, Marymont. While we watch this first heat, we're lucky enough to have a special visitor with us. Mike Leonard, head coach of the Pau Crosley Tiger Sharks and the fifth assistant on the Wyoming squad. Coach Leonard, thanks for stopping by. Thank you, Marty. Now, Mike, you've got a very uh, talented swimmer, top seed in the seat, Lucy Callard. What are you expecting from her tonight? I expect a pretty strong swim, probably not what she's going to go next week, but I, I hope we're hoping to get a win tonight and to lower the district record. She's focusing more on the state championship. Absolutely, week. yes. Mike, I think this is your 48th district championship as a swimmer or coach. <laughs> uh, tell, us a, tell us some of the history and how special it is to be a part of this event. Well, it is the district of champions, as you well know, Marty Boy. <laughs> yes, sir. I believe you were one and a record holder for a while in your younger days. Thank you. Uh, but this is a great meet. Obviously, the kids get here in this pool and this facility, and, and it is, they just explode. I mean, we see it time and time again. Some of the drops that you see from last week to this week, and then sometimes those kids have trouble matching those after those times next week. But this meet's about time, getting the time and putting it up. We'll see where everyone else is in the state. Next week's just about racing people, not so much time-oriented. This is the meet where kids are going for times in pool, the rest. And they're and they're they're that uh, it's almost like a you know a tournament. You survive in advance, and they're all trying to advance next week, and then they get there next week, and it's just racing kids. Then it is that time of year. We're watching coming into the 200-yard mark. We've got Allison Kobe taking the early lead. Mike, you are kind of a Cincinnati sports fan, as far as I know, and I would just, why we have you here, just a quick couple of answers on a few percolating topics yes. in the greater Cincinnati yes. area. Okay. Cincinnati Reds are on year three of their rebuild. Do you expect them to be a 500 team this year? No. UC and Xavier, college basketball stalwarts this year. Who's going to make it further in the tournament? Depends on the seeding. Give me an answer. I think... Xavier will be a higher seed. I, you know, they're they they're put they're doing it in the Big East. You know, I think they're a little better. They beat them head to head. I think they're a little better this year. Until they, until I see differently, I'm going with Xavier this year. Although I graduated from UC and I, I'm fans of both a little more. UC, I'm more UC because I graduated there, but I think Xavier's got the better ball club, more offensive firepower. Your thoughts Blew it. on blew it. You blew it is great. Your yes. thoughts on Kerry Combs? Kerry Combs. Kerry Combs leaving the Ohio State University for I, the NFL. I was surprised. I know it's a big payday for Kerry, so I hope it works out for him. But I think his his strength is dealing and uh, recruiting and and motivating young men and helping them turn young people turn into young men. I'm not I, so sure that same act is going to go well in the NFL. I'm sure he'll be successful, but I think his strength. Of his personality is just matched perfectly for the college game. Final question for me. I know Mike's got something. Do you think Cousin Megan will ever see a Bengals playoff win? <laughs> Absolutely. Marvin has guaranteed it and promised it. There's still a chance with that contact extension. There's still a chance. <laughs> Mr. Andrews, you got any questions for the, uh, the dean of Cincinnati swim coaches? <laughs> No, no, I do not. <laughs> but uh, it looks like we have a great battle shaping up uh, between lane six, Abby Kern, and lane seven, Allison Cody. Do you have any world capitals, any questions that have bothered you so throughout the years, <laughs> politics, sports, anything? I have a few questions that are percolating. Uh, we'll save those for next year. We always enjoy this time. State, state capitals, world capitals. New York, <laughs> state capital. Uh, Albany. Uh, Coach go. Leonard, Coach <laughs> Leonard, quickly, what do you think of people that don't like Seinfeld? People that don't like Seinfeld aren't smart <laughs> enough to understand the humor of Larry David. Thank you, sir. God bless you and yours. Mike Leonard, thank you for your time. May all your swimmers hit him with the hind the rest of the meet. Thank you. And a big Baba Booey to you. Baba Booey to you all.
Brother Mike, always a pleasure. Thank you, Marty. Bye for now. <laughs> All right, we are moving up lane six here. Abby Kern in heat one, getting the bell lap. Good timing there. She's got about a body length lead over Avery Faulkner above her from Bellbrook. Avery Faulkner trying to make a move here. Last 50, may have saved a lot in the tank. They're gonna turn close together, but Avery Faulkner has all the momentum with that first strong 25 in the last 50. 500 yards comes down to the last five yards. And getting her hand on the wall first, Avery Faulkner, pressing from Balbrick. Time by 549.71, dropping uh, over, gosh, almost 10 seconds. Eight, eight seconds by Avery and Abby Kern, dropping 10 seconds, 10 and a half seconds from her time last week. So excellent swim by those two ladies.